Hi, my name's Jonathan Pickup, and I've been teaching Vectorworks for a long time. In fact, I used to write the training manuals for Vectorworks. But today, what I'd like to look at is how to import a Revit file. What settings are there, and what things can we do with it? I've got a Revit file. I'm just going to drag this Revit file in and drop it. I get this dialog box. It's going to ask me for some things what I want to change. And I'm just going to bring in the three-dimensional information from Revit. So I have the ability to bring in the 2D views. I'm not going to bring any of those in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert everything to Vectorworks Solid Objects. That's going to be quite important. You'll see that in a minute. I'm going to import textures. I'm going to import all my Revit elements, basic walls, and so on. And Vectorworks is going to map basic walls to walls with a linear path. And we can either choose that or Revit Entity. The Revit entities are the things I'm going to want to change. I want to try and convert as many things as I can to standard Vectorworks objects. Now, the Revit file will automatically bring in the units and the sizes and the elevations of the information. This process can sometimes take a while, depending on the complexity of the information you're importing. So the building mostly comes up fantastic. Look at that. It's all there. All the bits that I need are there. 